parents were in Europe and I was staying with someone else in the neighborhood another block down the same street from the okay. school and they'd put their house on the market and so I would go in after school and check in with the lady who was a realtor she was probably in her 60s and I would just sit around and watch as she showed people the house well, one afternoon while I was there a black family came the grandmother her son his wife and a couple of kids and at the same time a white gentleman came in with his daughter and even though they had come in first she took the white gentleman and the daughter and began to show them the house and went up the steps with them. And I happened to know one of the kids in this family who went to school with me at Boswell. And I said, hey, I'd be happy to show you the house. I live here. And so they start upstairs. Let's go downstairs. We started in the basement. We worked our way up. And, and after all this was over, the grandmother said, I love this house. This is a great house. I'd love to buy this house. And so there was like a pre-contract that you could sign in those days uh, that said either party could step back from the agreement within 30 days. So... Family signed the contract, and they walked out the door. And this woman blew a gasket. She said, we can't have this happen. I've got to sell this house to somebody else. I said, excuse me? Well, if that family moves in here, the property values are going to go down. I can't allow that to happen. Now, this is eight or nine years after the Fair Housing Ordinance passed in Topeka in 1964, I believe it was. And I was just thinking to myself, this is wrong. And so this was a couple nights before Halloween, so I was living with a sheriff's deputy while my parents were in Europe, okay. and I said to her, can you help me barricade the front door? We had boxes <laughs> packed already in the front room, so we barricaded the front door and took the only key to the house, which was the back door key, and so that the realtor had no way to get into the house the next day. <laughs> and so the sheriff's deputy sat in front of the house the next day when she came with other people from the realty because she couldn't get into the house and didn't know what the problem was and asked if there was a problem here. And this family did end up moving into the house, and, and we've stayed friends till the present day. And, wow. and it's just, but just that, that that would even be possible. And my kids today they seem to almost have no comprehension about any of the tensions that I still felt, at least at Boswell, going to school. Consequence was the house sold and we moved. And later, when I told my parents the story, my mother said, I always wondered why we got so little for the house. <laughs>